Hi guys, welcome to 123, and in this video we will show you how to stop pop-ups on your Android device. Okay guys, so you've been browsing the web on your Android device and suddenly for no reason you are getting pop-up ads. Now I turned on some of the ad features on my Android phone and here are some of the ads that have started appearing. So the first ad was gas bottles, which uh, is not really important to me. And the next one is tarot card reading, which also I don't really need. And the next one was uh, hiring private offices. So all these ads don't really uh, apply to me. It's not something I'm after. The other annoying thing about these ads too is they go full screen. So you can't actually get out of the ad until you press on it. Or otherwise, if you press back a couple of times, it will actually get you out of the ad. And that can be the really frustrating thing about these ads. So I have created four steps for you to try and remove the pop-up ads. I suggest trying the first step and then test your Android device and see if that step works for you. If it doesn't, come back to this video and try the next step. Also, I am doing these steps on my Samsung device. If you have a different Android device, your menus might be a little bit different, but the steps should be the same. The first step is to clear your browser data and make sure your pop-up blockers are turned on for whatever browser you are using. On my device, I use both the default browser and Google Chrome. So this means I'll have to change these settings on both browsers. All right, so the first step here is to open up your browser and just go into the settings part of your browser, whichever browser you use. Scroll down to privacy and security and then just go down to delete browsing data. We're just gonna clear the cache and delete our cookies and any site data browsing history. Next, just go back out of that menu and we're looking for sites and downloads and press on that. And then we're just gonna make sure our pop-up blocker is toggled on. Once that's done there, we just wanna go back out of that browser and we wanna go into our Chrome browser. All right, use the three dots up the top and then settings. So we're doing the same thing in our Chrome browser. Just scroll down to where you see site settings, find your pop-ups and redirects. Just make sure that's turned on as well. Okay, scroll down and go into ads and just turn off your ads if that's on because it will show misleading ads. So you just wanna turn that off. Next up, we wanna turn ad personalization off. And we can do this by going into the settings on your phone. Then scroll down to where it says accounts and backup. Go into accounts, tap on your account, go into the tab that says data and personalization, and then scroll down to where it says add personalization. Now if it's off, you wanna just turn it back on and then we can turn it back off again. And then make sure you turn it off. And when you turn it off, you'll have this other option called visit your online choices. Select that one. Okay, so once that's complete, just scroll down to the bottom and hit continue. All right, and then it will show you a whole list of other advertisers that you can opt out of. So these are other advertisers that can advertise on your phone. Just select opt out all, and if you go down the bottom there, you can just opt out of those advertisers. Okay, so that's done there now. And if you wanna find out more or understand a bit more about what you've done, you can click on the understand your choices and have a bit of a read there. Next, you can tap on view updated results and that will show you a list of all the advertisers that you have opted out of. Next, go into settings, then go down to your Google account, then go into ads and just make sure that opt out of ads personalization is turned on. Okay, so step two is to remove recently installed apps and we can do that by going into settings and then down to apps or app management. Then just go through and try and find the app that you want to uninstall. So in this case, the last one we installed was Geekbench. So I'm just going to show you how to uninstall that now. Hit force stop, and then force stop again, uninstall, and then just press OK when you uninstall. All right, so the app is gone now. So just go through and test it and see if you are still getting the ads popping up after the uninstall.
Step three, install Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is an app that can identify and remove malware from your Android device. Go to the play.google.com site and download and install it. And we can find that by just typing in Malwarebytes. Okay, so I've already got it installed, so I'm just gonna press open and the app is gonna start up. Okay, so once it starts up there, the first thing you're going to need to do is fix some issues. So the first thing you'll need to do is update the database version. So simply just press on that and you'll be able to update it. Once the database version is updated, you can go across to the scan now and just scan your Android device and see if you can uh, find any malware on your device that could be causing the pop-ups. Okay, so Malware Bytes doesn't find any malware on my Samsung Galaxy device, uh, which is good news, which means there's nothing to do here. However, on my Oppo phone, it did find some threats. So this is what it would look like if you did find some malware on your phone. You can go ahead and select all items or deselect all items. Uh, however, this touch power for Oppo seems to be a legitimate program, so I'm not going to remove it for now. If you find some malware on your device, try Googling it first to see if it's meant to be on your device or not. If it's not, go ahead and remove it, and hopefully that will remove the ads that keep popping up on your Android device. Okay guys, so you've tried all the other steps and you're still getting pop-ups coming up on your Android device. Okay, so the last step that we're going to do now, and this is step four, backup data and reset your Android device. And the first part of this is to do a backup of all your data on your Android device. So you can do this by going into settings, scroll through until you find your accounts and backup menu. Go into backup and restore. Next, turn on backup my data. Make sure your automatic restore is turned on. And then the next thing you'll need to do is select a backup account where you wanna back up your data to. Once your Android device has finished backing up, just go into your Google account and just double check all the data is there before you go to this next step of resetting your phone back to factory defaults. Okay, so the last part of this step here is to go into your settings, go into general management, go into reset, and then press on factory data reset. This is going to reset your Android device back to exactly how it was when you first purchased the Android device. So all the data will be wiped, and hopefully those pop-up ads will also be wiped from your device. So tap on factory data reset, and then have a read through of what data will be erased from your Android device and then hit reset, put in your pin code and then your device will be set back to factory defaults. Also guys, if you want to check out my HP ProBook G6 unboxing or iPhone to Android transfer video, click the links now.